Um, I think, you know, I'm 38 years of age now. Um, I've had a good, a good long career. Um, sort of playing for Longford at the minute involves a lot of travelling for me. Sometimes three, four hours to games and you know, it does take a lot out of you as you get that little bit older. So sort of announced at the end of the season that will be my, la be my last. And you know, you have many caps for, for Northern Ireland. Uh, how proud were you to play for Northern Ireland? I meant everything to me. I think people who who knew me knew how much effort I gave for Northern Ireland. You know, I made sure I gave nothing less than a hundred percent. Um, you know, I grew up watching Northern Ireland and you know, went with my dad, Spine Cop, you know, back in the eighties. So it meant everything and you know, it, it was upsetting recently, obviously there was a story, you know, that I said that I wanted an All Ireland team, but you know this was absolute rubbish. You know I'm proud to play for Northern Ireland. You know 86 times, which is you know more than than most you know get get to play. So you know I was disappointed with that story recently, but you know just like to sort of clarify that it, it was absolute rubbish that you know that wasn't said. Uh, what sort of key moments then stand out for you during your 86 caps? I think when you look back, you know you obviously look at your debut, your first goal, but. You know, I think everybody, obviously, you know, lately would remember sort of England victory and and the Spain victory. You know, and for me, those two stand out. You know, because they were, they sort of just came out of nowhere. You know, especially England game. We were obviously in the group. We were going through a sort of bit of a bad spell in the group and not really doing an awful lot. So the England game was was very unexpected. I think we'd have taken a draw that night, but you know, to get the victory and. You know, to be to be part of that, you know, it's something that a lot of people will remember for for many years to come. What was it like that night uh, in the changing room after you uh, after you beat England? Was it surreal? Was it what? what I think was I, it I think it was. Um, you know, we're sort of like looking at each other, thinking, you know, has this really happened? You know, because England had a full side out that night. You know, people maybe think England probably didn't have a full side, but. I think the only player they had missing maybe that night was maybe Gary Neville, you know, so you know, you had your Beckhams and you had your Michael Owens and Gerrards and Lampards, you know, so you know, it was a fantastic achievement, you know. We're obviously not the biggest country in the world but you know, we're we always wear a heart in our sleeve and you know, fantastic that we can actually, you know, look back and remember.